Good morning, Fraser. April 1st. I hate the whole April Fool's thing. I never do that. So, uh, But anyway, yeah, good morning. It is Monday, the first day of April. Uh, decent looking day outside so far from what I can see. We'll see what the day holds. We're starting off with breakfast and this is this is Allie's breakfast. <laughs> right here. Wait, he's not happy enough. <laughs> It looks sufficiently crazy though. <laughs> so, so far not a lot going on today. Uh, we're trying to get caught up on some homework. We're, our home group is, is doing a, uh, a Bible study called Experiencing God. And so we're, uh, we're trying to get caught up on that. Allie and I both working hard. Um, and generally speaking, we're not... Uh, I've always believed, don't take anybody's word for it. Go look it up. Look in the Gospels. Look in the Bible. Search it out. If you take any one man's opinion for something, you're likely to be led astray from all sorts of things, or to all sorts of things, because one man's opinion is one thing. Um, but, you know, for me, there's lots and lots and lots of um, evidence that points to Christ we know Christ lived, we know Christ died, uh, there was over 500 people that saw Christ after his death, um, when, when he was resurrected. Um, there's non-biblical witnesses to all these things that write about this. Essentially history books, you know, denoting this fact, right? Um, and my personal experience with Christ. Again, I talk to God, and, and God talks to me. Uh, not necessarily audibly, but just in my life and experience, right? So, I don't, I don't believe what a preacher or a, a teacher just says, this is the way it is. I don't necessarily just believe that, because that may be their own personal interpretation of things. I'll go back, I'll see what they say, and I'll compare it to the Bible, and use the make sure that, that it, it is backed up by the entire Bible, and if it is, great, yeah, I'm totally on board. But if it's not, and it's just a popular idea, or a popular viewpoint, but there's no scriptural basis for it, I'm not going to tow the company line and say, yeah, that makes sense, if it doesn't, right? It has to be backed up biblically saying that because you know some of the questions that I'm coming across in here I'm like yeah no I don't I don't agree with that you know so just stay tuned to five yeah days we'll see from now when we... we'll see how that goes and we'll see if we get kicked out or not of the uh, the home group <laughs> <laughs> now nah, they won't kick us out they love us but uh, but yeah it's 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 good right it's uh, it's good to question things there's nothing wrong with questioning things question the Bible question everything it's fine God's big enough to be questioned. He's He's got big shoulders, man. It's not the questions that are scary. It certainly doesn't scare God. It's the answers that people generally don't want. And it's the answers that people find scary because the answers will show you that God is true, God is just, and the Bible is accurate. People don't want to know that. Because if that's true, then all of the Bible is true and... God is who he said he is, and there is only one way to God, and that's through Christ. That scares people to death, I think. Yeah, anyway, yeah, we're having fun. We're doing a bit of a Bible study, preparing for a Bible study. All right, I am going to attempt to fix the uh, automatic choke that I destroyed because I thought it wasn't working. There? No. It would be there. All right. So, I'm going to flatten that out a little bit. So that'll be that way. Yeah. I should have done that, but that's okay. Is this supposed to be that way? I 
this is my thought process. Drill, power tools. Always comes down to power tools. What I'm thinking is I basically figure out where I can put a screw on this side. Ooh, we've got to be careful with that because that will have to go. But I only goes that way. So I put a screw there. Up poop with uh, with Al? He says no. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think that will work. Just gotta find an appropriate screw. I'm thinking a size six would work. So I think I got the right size screws. Hey, Jack. How are you doing? Good. How you doing? Sandra and Mark and probably the girls watch this as well. You know that, right? Really? Yeah, Sandra and Mark do for sure. I don't know if the girls do, but uh, I think uh, yeah, Megan does, I think. But I don't know if the other two do. Oh, maybe. Uh, maybe. I guess if we go all the way over to the Wales, eh? Oh, yeah, maybe. Eh? Who knows? But yeah, you can feel free to say hi to, to Sandra and, and Mark and them as well. So. Yeah, I haven't. Got an email or a phone call forever, but I can't. You hear that? You hear that? That was a finger wag. Did you see that? And I wanted to tell you also, a month from now, I'll be 89. <laughs> don't tell anybody. We'll keep that quiet. We'll keep that right. quiet. Bye bye, Danny. Thanks, Jack. Yeah, we'll see ya. Anybody around the world would hear what I just said. They might, but I don't have that many people to watch, so. You say, hey, I don't think I. <laughs> Alright, see you later. We always like watching the. Uh, uh, you ran out of the boat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. real cool to watch that. Thank you. What's that? Carol won't let me touch your tablet. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Hey, April up first. It is. My mother's birthday. I got to say. Oliver Sanders hair turned. Her hair turned gray. Do you want me to edit? April Fools! <laughs> I forgot it was, I said an April Fools to Carol. Ah, there you go. I said, this is news already. And she said, That won't go. Michael? It will, that won't go all the way. And that won't affect it on the back side, so I don't have to cut it. I thought I was going to have to cut it the screws, but they won't affect, so that'll be fine. It's okay. I'll leave it like that. We'll see if it works. Can't hurt, right? I mean, this one's out a little bit, but at least I can get at the uh, 
choke if I needed to. So, we'll see. We will see. We'll see if that works. All right. So what I kind of need to do, what I kind of need to do, is take these out. Because there's no trolling. There's no trolling now for the next month. Oh, actually, sorry, there's no trolling. Seriously? April, May, June, July. There's no trolling for the next three and a half months. Unless I go, like, significantly down uh, out of the region. Uh, or significantly up out of the region. Down is closer. But I would have to either launch down uh, Salter Bay area. Um, and the only, the only boat launch down there is at the Salter Bay Provincial Camp Day Park. And the launch is absolutely horrible. Just horrific. So, no. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, or launch here and go all the way down. It's just a, it's a long trip. It's, uh, it's a long trip. But, I mean, it's not undoable. But I can always load up if I'm going to be doing that. You know, with the appropriate gear. But for now, I think I'm going to pull all my all my trolling gear in because all that's going to be done for the next little while is my is uh, is jigging that's it so i'm just going to set it up for jigging and away we go I'm going to start organizing it a little bit better. That's not terribly organized. Or not terribly organized. It's not organized terribly. You see how one word moving in one different place can make a big difference? It's not terribly organized. It's not, ter it's not organized terribly. I like that one much better. So, anyway. It's kind of where I put my... I've got all my jigging stuff. But I've got a little bit of trolling stuff up there as well. Yeah, I'll probably put my trolling stuff up there now. I think. Because I, I like seeing my trolling I like seeing my fishing stuff. i got a month before it, uh, a month before we can jig. Three and a half months before we can troll, but i got a month before I can jig. So, jigging is good. Rockfish is very, very tasty, actually. Allie prefers rockfish to lingcod. The problem is with rockfish is is getting, I want to get one that's big enough, right? Because, you know, small ones are okay, but small ones are a little bit tight even for, for one person to eat. You know, there's not a lot of meat on them. So I'd rather catch, you know, ones that are decent and not waste the, the little ones kind of thing, right? Let them grow to be bigger. Eat them next year. Oh, it's going to be like a brand new place, man. It's going to be like totally clean. Ish. Clean ish. And I'm getting rid of these Nemesis hooks. These here, I don't like those. They rust really, really quickly. That's the only thing I don't like about them. They rust very, very quick. But that's enough. So. I'm going to get into the cuddy and get out my uh, my trolling gear. Because again, no sense having the trolling gear in here. I just got to make sure that I have uh, all of the stuff in my jigging gear box that I need from my trolling box. Don't need the crucifix anymore. Trolling box, let's see what's in there. Specifically, what's in here that I need. Really, nothing.
There we go. Locked up. Ready to go. I'm going to put the uh, covers on those, actually. Try and keep the rust out a little bit. I'm going to take the uh, plug out of the boat. Is there any water in there drains? Guys, do I get a hard time about, about standing in front of the camera? Hey, seriously, can't believe what I just did. <laughs> That's funny. That's all the water I should have in there. So that means that uh, all the other leak areas that I had have been fixed. So it's mostly all from, been from rainwater for the most part. Uh, except when the, uh, you know, the inner hose was cracked on a couple of those things. But those are fixed now, so that's good. That makes me feel a little bit better. So far, boat's prepped for April. Got to do a few things to it. But, uh, you know, that just keeps me sane during April. And uh, stuff to do with the... Uh, stuff to do with, you know, fishing lures and stuff. I got any more of this uh, windshield washer stuff. Because I am out on both the Jeep oh, and the truck. Put the oil back in its uh, spot. I don't know why I didn't months ago, but you know. It's good. But I will wait on my truck to put the windshield washer fluid in. I'll put it in the, the Jeep first. We use that more. So. Puppy dogs. What do you want? What do you want? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Oh. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
you. Good boy. This is not nearly enough to <coughs> fill. There's barely anything in here, but better than nothing. Gotta get some more today. Allie's doing the lawn in the backyard. I wasn't kidding when I said that she does the lawn for the most part. She likes it. She puts on a set of headphones, listens to music. It's kind of her way of getting away from everything and everybody, including me. <laughs> I've uh, tried to make the boys do it in the past, you know, like, oh, you get out there and get your button gear, and, and Allie gives me always gives me trouble. No, that's my job. So. You know, so be it. Hey Fraser, hope you're having a good day today, buddy. Uh, today was kind of a casual day, you know, but uh, but still a good day. Got some things done, you know. Got the uh, that little um, cover for the uh, the automatic choke on the lawnmower back on. Had to, you know, hillbilly it with a couple of screws and a drill, but you know that was done. Uh, and we realized, well. I, before I get there because <laughs> that one makes me giggle cleaned out the boat from all the trolling gear I'll organize that over the next few days or week or what have you and and uh, get all my jigging gear ready we're probably gonna try and go out and I know it you know if anybody sees us from around here they'll laugh but you know halibut are caught here so halibut have to be around uh, I've caught a halibut here. I've caught two halibut here. One was quite tiny, like two, three pounds, but still it was, it was, there was two halibut in one year. Uh, I didn't even check to see, but I think prawn and, well, crab are open for sure. I checked that, but I believe, no, the prawn are open right now. I did check. So we may go out in April and throw some prawn traps down and crab traps and throw a line down for halibut too at the same time. Why not? Why not? You know, I mean... something to try right uh, it'll just be a matter of setting the front traps and the cra crab and then just finding a place to anchor and sit with your your boat for hours on end waiting for uh, for halibut to come you know, put a like a like a bait bag down for halibut kind of thing and a bunch of salmon bellies or you know salmon heads or stuff in it whatever and go from there <clears throat> just wait with some you know stuff on a, on a hook as well can't can't hurt right Why not? what else are you gonna do it's a nice day, nice flat, calm day. Sounds good to me. So, other than that, not a lot done today, man. That was that was what it, you know. We did discover, the <laughs> and this is what I was waiting on. I was talking about uh, when I was finishing, you know, putting the stuff in the uh, in the car there for the uh, the window shield wash. What I was talking about, Allie mowing the lawn, and I came in, and Allie is just like, like she's kind of drenched in sweat, kind of thing. She's like. Man, I'm telling you, I thought I was out of shape, she says. But I realize the self-propelled bar is gone. So I tried to start this, uh, this lawnmower three weeks ago for Al. Couldn't get it done. Took the carb off. Thought it was the jets were plugged. Thought I had cleaned out the jets, but I couldn't get into where the bowl was to, to get deeper into the jets. Um... And I still couldn't get it going, so I called up a guy and I said, hey, like, can you take a look at this thing? He's like, oh, yeah, I can do that. Guy can fix anything, anything at all. And uh, <clears throat> so he came over, picked up the, uh, the lawnmower the same day that I went out fishing with Jill, actually. And uh, sure enough, it was the jets in the car, but he was able to get that piece off the back where the float was, the float pole, that I couldn't do. So I didn't bother putting any of it on video because I didn't actually fix anything, you know. So I thought, okay, whatever. But the, the, the self-propelled bar is gone. So Allie's been pushing this thing and just like, ah, you know, like struggling to push it. So sure enough, we looked at the video because I got cameras all over the house. And uh, not just cameras I use for you. <laughs> I've got security cameras all around the house. And uh, so looked at the video uh, of uh, when Guy came and picked it up. Sure enough, the handle was on there. And when it comes back, sure enough, it's not there. <laughs> So guy popped over today just to see exactly what it was supposed to look like and and uh, where it would go on the 
on the lawnmower and stuff like that. And so he's gonna he's gonna look around his house and see if we can get it. If not, I'm sure I can get one somewhere. You know, it shouldn't be that big a deal. It's uh, it's just a bar, right? So I would think almost any bar, on almost any lawnmower that looks similar should should work. But we'll uh, we'll figure it out. It's probably sitting on this. It it probably fell when he pulled it out of the you know out of the truck and onto the garage, and it probably just got knocked to the back or something like that. So it's not a big deal. We'll figure it out. But it was kind of funny that you know I was talking about how Allie loves mowing the lawn so much, and then today not so much. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> but you know what? She could have come out and told me earlier. I don't think she realized it until when she was done, actually. She realized the self propelled bar is not. So. Still reading out of John chapter 14. Start in uh, verse 23. He's still talking about the same thing about the, uh, the promised Holy Spirit. And Jesus is teaching and saying, teaching his disciples, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things, and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You've heard me say I'm going away and I am coming back to you. If you loved me, you would be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. So again here, Jesus is, is speaking about the Holy Spirit. And when he, after his resurrection, when he uh, ascends and goes back to the Father, back to heaven, the Holy Spirit is sent after that. And the Holy Spirit lives in us. The Holy Spirit is, is the Spirit of God. Jesus says, my peace I leave with you. I don't give you as the world gives, because the world will give and take away. But Jesus gives his peace. It's an everlasting peace. Regardless of the situation and the troubles that we have in this world, we can still have peace knowing that if you've accepted Jesus Christ, you will be with him. And again, one day, there will be no tears, there will be no pain, there will be no disease. Yeah, because God loves you very much, as I keep saying. I love you too, buddy. I do look forward to seeing you one of these days. I miss you, and I will pull tomorrow tomorrow.